Yeah, we're going to put another notch in the old bedpost there, and uh, we're going to Tennessee today. Fighting Tennessee. <laughs> this episode is thanks to my friend Stacy Bracewell. Shout out! Shout out! She uh, gave me both of these beers. She's currently living out in, in Nashville, and this is one of her f- favorite uh, hangouts, is the Yazoo Brewing Company. It's a brew pub out there. Not to be confused with Yahoo. Yeah. Yazoo! Yazoo! So, uh, we have a growler, a whole growler of their Hefeweizen. We're drinking the whole thing? <laughs> yes. <Show it. laughs> and we also have the, the Yazoo Pale Ale. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get it started with, with the big guy here. Alright. And uh, probably move on to the pale after that. So, how long have you had the growler now? Uh, she gave it to me about a week ago. Okay. So, a little bit longer than the optimal. Uh, I wish we could have done it uh, previous to this and, and, you know, a little sooner, a little bit fresher, but... Time, think, gets, time gets away from you. Yeah, you know, yeah, I've got too much things to do. Right. <laughs> Answer Hopcast fan mail. And, yeah, <laughs> deal with sponsors. So uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and pour this one out and uh, take a look. Yellow, hazy, golden desert. I don't know. I'm not it's loving a, the color. It's a, it's kind of pale, I think, for a, a half of bison. And actually, uh, in the growler, it looks a little bit more orange due to the volume of of, uh, of the beer. But uh, it, it does pour out pretty pale. Yeah. That has the nice cloudy appearance you, you'd expect from a half of bison. Not too much aroma. It's sort of like a soury wheat. Yeah, aroma, yeah. I guess you get that half of ice and twinge in there, but they're, you're you're right. It does kick out a little bit of a sour note. You got your banana and clove that's there. Right. So yeah, along with the uh, the half of ice and scent, I'm also getting like kind of a Belgian yeasty scent in there as well. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. You pick that up on that at all? I see what you mean. Uh, so. Picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> so yeah, That's without sure. further ado, cheers. Cheers. Yazoo! Yazoo! Oh, that that does taste a lot better than it smells. It does. I think so. I think you're right. Getting more citrusy and banana y. Mm-hmm. I'm still getting that uh, Belgian yeasty strain hint to it. Uh, which I, I don't know. I think that's kind of a nice complexity right. that it offers. Adds extra layer to it. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like <laughs> a German Hefeweizen with uh, Belgian yeast offsprings running around. Right. This is this is sour. I was I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee, weak old growler, not looking so hot. <laughs> Stacy came through. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a pretty delicious beer. This would be a great beer for someone who likes Blue Moon, just starting into beers, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, you need something a little lighter. And this is this is very enjoyable. I don't know how big of a beer drinker she is. I know her and her friends do their their Miller Lights and stuff, and they all enjoy this the Yazoo uh, Hefeweizen. So that's probably probably a good call on your part. I think it's kind of a gateway beer into the craft world. Right, I think once you get into the Hefeweizens, then you're into the Belgiums, and then snowball. Snowball from yep. there. Yep, and then you're hooked, and then the, you just can't get it out of you. <laughs> <laughs> but so, Yazoo, they got some crazy hours. Yeah. You were telling me about this, right? Yeah, uh, Stacy said this is the place to hang out, but... They're only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Right. And what? Thursday and Friday from 4 to 8. Right. And then Saturday, 2 to 8. Okay. So I guess everyone just packs in there for like four hours, and then they're closed, and blah, 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 you go, you go somewhere else. Right. And they're down on Clinton Street in Nashville, so I don't know if there's anything else around there. I have no idea. 
So I don't know. You could be screwed. <laughs> You're like out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Yazoo's closed. What do I do? I don't know what the cab situation is like out there. I do know that I do know they have food. They're supposed to have pretty good food. So um, but I wonder if this is just they just can't. They don't have staff to be open long enough and they're following the beer. Yeah, like maybe wine. it's just kind of uh, one of those things where it's working for what they're doing. They only have to come in three days a week and well, they're I'm making sure, money. I'm sure they're brewing a little more than three oh, days. Br- the brewing, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but, you know, manning a full staff in there and all that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the situation is over there. Uh, it seems like there's plenty of demand to be open more. So we'll, we'll see. Maybe things will change in the in the years to come. Speaking of brewing, the brewmaster, he's been brewing for about 10 years. There you go. And he interned at Brooklyn. Oh, so, very nice. Yeah, so he's got a little... Nice little, little stamp on the there. resume. <laughs> <laughs> little Gor- Garrett Oliver for you. <laughs> of, uh, Iron Chef America claim. Cooking with beer. You're cooking with beer, yeah. Cooking with Brooklyn beer, right? Mm-hmm. So. Uh, amongst others, yeah. but uh, they, they use the Brooklyn chocolate stout, which is a good one, and some recipes, which was nice. Good episode. Hmm. So why don't we uh, finish these up and we'll move on to the pale ale and uh, wrap this puppy up. Yazoo! <laughs> All right, we polished those Yazoo's off. <sighs> that was a big growler. Woo! Whole thing finished. <laughs> so we're on to the uh, the little nubber. It looks so small now. I know it's just a standard twelve ouncer, and it looks it's like, like a, a little... it's like a my beer. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. It's cute. Okay. Uh, here's the pale ale. It boasts that uh, it's brewed with Amarillo. Got us pretty excited. Let's see what they got to offer. So we'll uh, pour it out. See what see what this uh, this guy's all about. The Yazoo Pale Ale. Alright, so that poured out really clean. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, a, a fair like just a little cloudy, but it, you can I mean you can definitely see through it, no problem. I'm watching you, I'm watching us. <laughs> so. A pretty classic pale ale color, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's um, almost like an amber golden type of hue. Not too much head to speak of. Almost smells creamy more than hoppy. That's weird. It does say it's supposed to be like a more balanced pale ale. Right. Just smell the creaminess of it. Can it smell sweet? And... Mm hmm. So, All right. give it a shot. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, it is creamy and fruity. <laughs> not hoppy. Not not really that hoppy. I'm, I don't really taste the amarillo. No, I'm I'm getting like some piney bitterness though. Like Are after you? the creamy. Hmm. So that creaminess is like huge up front yeah and then like afterwards a little pine and then sweet again yeah this is mostly a, a malt based beer I get a lot of malt in it and uh, the the only hops I'm getting really is in the finish yeah it's like a, it's actually the, the more and more I'm sitting here it's <laughs> kind of like asserting itself a little bit the more hop yeah. yeah yeah so uh, more in the in the finish on the hops there's creaminess and maltiness up front, and some fruitiness. This is a strange beer. Yeah, it's pretty strange. It's a strange brew. Because <laughs> it's not what you'd expect from a pale. I think that's what's surprising and maybe good, maybe not good. Uh. It's certainly what what isn't what I was expecting. Um, usually, I'm expecting like a clean, uh, nice hop. Right, kind of light and yeah, it's just kind of a, like a nice, well balanced beer with, you know, a little a kick of hops in it. But um, this has, this is more like a fruity, creamy, sweet. Yeah, it's that creamy type of thing. that's weird. Yeah, it is. So, do you think they added something 
in there? Like, what could have? Uh, well, you know, the the only thing I hear of with uh, creaminess is people use lactose sugar hmm. in like milk stouts. That's how you make a milk stout is, is using lactose sugar. Oh, hello. We have a hot guest. guest. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I I don't know if I could see people using lactose sugar in a pale ale. Yeah, pale ale. It doesn't really sound right to me. Mm. So, and this doesn't have the uh, the alcohol on it, but I would almost put it at like six or seven, right? I thought it'd be like you know five and a half six. So yeah, right around in that area. Mm -hmm. um, not not too high, just kind of like right in the meaty part of the curve there. <laughs> <laughs> but certainly an interesting beer to say the least. Interesting, not amazing. No, not not great. I think I like the the Hefeweizen. Right, mainly the for the better. The drinkability of the Hefeweizen. Yeah, it was just a nice drinkable beer. Right. And we did. We didn't drink it now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was it was a fun trip out to to Nashville, Tennessee. Fighting Tennessee <laughs> at the Yazoo Brewing Company. So, if, I mean, if you're in the area, it's supposed to be the place to be. It's right. a hot place. If you're in the area at the times, yeah. you know what it's at. If you're hanging out on uh, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday in, in Nashville, then go check out Yazoo. <laughs> And uh, thanks once again to Stacy for, for bringing the beer. Yeah, really appreciate best. it. You're the best.